Hello, it's David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. Right, in this video, I wanted to go through the top 10 British heavyweights. But of course, we are going to give some honourable mentions to other ones in, an, in or around that kind of uh, region. Where, in my opinion, some of them should be a little bit higher ranked than what they currently are. Now, this is Box Rec, so it's always up to date. I would use the British official rankings, but these guys all seem to be six, seven months or even a year sometimes out of date. I don't know what's going on with the British Box and Border Control, but you guys need to sort out your damn rankings and keep updated. Anyway, so we're going to go through the top 10, but before we get in there, there's some uh, mentions um, in or around that area as well. So just outside the top 10 is uh, Camille Sokolowski. Um, he's had a couple of uh, good wins recently, um, but he is somewhat of a gatekeeper slash journeyman, where sometimes he just turns on just to get a victory. But he's a very, very good fighter, Polish uh, British guy, of course. Uh, Tom Little, just under him, number 12. Um, he's going to be taking on Lucas Brown um, in, a, um, in about three or four weeks, I think it is now. Uh, Fabio Wardley, managed by Didion White. He's on a bit of a roll in himself, so he's up at number 13. Uh, Cash Ali, number 15, currently suspended, of course, because of what happened with uh, David Price. And Nick Webb, number 19. Um, out of his last three fights, he's lost two of them, one to Dave Allen, bounced back, beat Dorian Darch, then lost last time to Camille uh, Sokolowski, as uh, we just mentioned there. Uh, but um, again, he's going to be fighting in about three or four weeks' time as well, so hopefully all going well, he gets a win. Uh, Simon Valili from my neck of the woods, well, almost. Um, I'm Newcastle, he's Middlesbrough, still northeast, right? Um, moving up from Cruiserweight, he's now heavyweight. He's had one fight at heavyweight and won that one quite convincingly. Number 22, Danny Williams. Can somebody please tell him to hang his gloves up? Please, somebody. Now, he did win his last fight um, probably, what, um, seven months ago, I think it was. Let's have a quick look. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was February. So he did actually win that one by knockout. But, of course, most people will know him for some of his uh, domestic uh, dust-ups in history and, of course, get a win over Mike Tyson. But he's 45 years old. I don't quite know why he's still got a boxing license. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Um, Naylor Ball, good friend of mine, um, number 25. He's going to be fighting next weekend. So keep your eye out for that one. Um, um, all going well. He wins that one. And he should be boosted up in the rankings. Because in my opinion, there's quite a few fighters above him. That shouldn't be above him in my opinion. But hey, listen. But you know what? He's only 22 years old. Uh, DL Jones. Um, again, most of you guys will know him by uh, taking a loss to Daryl Dubois. A few fights ago, Dorian Darch. He's here, there and everywhere. He's kind of like the measuring stick before you get to British level. And um, David Howe, again, he's like a, um, a bit of a, uh, a measuring stick before you get to an area title. OK, so that is all those outside of the top 10. So on, honourable mentions. But of course, there are other ones like Alex Dickinson, Mark Bennett, Jay McFarlane, Ellis Machin and a few others. So top 10. So let's start from the bottom upwards. Daniel Dubois is in at the top 10 for British heavyweights. But he's going to be taking on Nathan Gorman very, very soon on July 13th at the O2 Arena on a card that's looking very, very good. Both of these guys, um, they're around about the same age. Um, David Dubois is 21, Nathan Gorman's 22. Gorman's had probably about, what, four or five fights more than him, so he's just a tad more experienced. But listen, this is a 50-50 fight, in my opinion. Uh, but Nathan Gorman, incidentally, is in number eight. David Price, number nine, he's going to be taking on Dave Allen soon. So, again, that's another interesting fight. Number seven, Joe Joyce. He's going to take on Bryant Jennings soon. He's being fast-tracked. Obviously, that, that'll be down to his age of 33. Um, just above him is Dave Allen at number six. As I said, he's going to be taking on David Price soon. Uh, number five, Huey Fury. That's a little bit surprising for me, that one, to be honest with you, that he's that high. But listen, could he beat everybody below him? Certainly, he can. Um, but number four, Derek Chisora. Should he be that high? Well, you know what, you decide. Number three, Dillian White. Number two, Tyson Fury. Number one is still Anthony Joshua. Reason being, Anthony Joshua, obviously he's been very active and has racked up a hell of a lot of points based on the guys that he's fought. He's always fought consistently, um, either the number one rated in the world, um, outside of the champion, of course, or at least the top 10. So that's why his points are so high. So Tyson Fury, even if he was to defeat um, Tom Schwartz, he still won't overtake um, Anthony Joshua or I'll say that, I think Tyson Fury would have to put on one hell of a performance to overtake him according to the box rankings. But listen, these aren't rankings to say who would 
who actually is better and who isn't, etc., etc. But Dillian White, number three. Now, for me, the top three, Joshua, Tarzan Fury, Dillian White, all three of these guys can legitimately beat each other. And hopefully going forward at some point, we get to see all these three guys fight each other. But of course, Dillian White, he's going to take on Oscar Rivas on July 20th. So let's wait and see how he gets on with that one. And of course, Tarzan Fury taking on Tom Schwartz later today. So yeah, that is the rankings. You drop your thoughts below about it, click the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.